Let's sew an Amish puzzle ball. This project is perfect for using up scraps and sews up quickly. To create the pattern, I use Inkscape. It's a free software and can be downloaded online. I created a circle to the approximate desired finished size. In my case, I use six inches. I use the grid lines and the magnetic tool to get the exact measurements. Then, I created a second circle to account for the fourth inch seam allowance. I duplicated the circle and then used the segment tool to put in the start and stop angle of zero and 90. I duplicated this quarter segment and flipped it. After some cleanup, it's way to be exported and printed. I used up some of my leftover flannel from my baby quilt project. I'll link it below in the description. I used six pattern fabrics and two solid colors. Any woven, non-stretch fabric should also work for this pattern. To create the Amish puzzle ball, in total you'll need six circles worth, or 24 quarter circles. And for the lid pieces, you'll need 12. I cut the circle wedges from the solid fabric. The pattern piece can be cut down into half circles or quarters, as they'll need to be cut down into quarter circles later. For the lid pieces, I cut two from each of my six fabrics. For a couple fabrics, I tried to fussy cut it to include different patterns and characters. I paired each pattern with one of each of the solids. I think this pattern would work well with a variety of combinations depending on your fabrics. To sew together, I first laid down the lid piece, right side up. Then, I laid over one of the quarter circles. I placed a pin at each end, a quarter inch from the edge. These will be used as sewing markers for where to begin and end stitching. For added durability, I decreased the stitch length slightly. Place under the sewing machine, putting the needle down at this quarter inch pin mark. Back stitch a couple times, making sure not to stitch before this pin mark. Sew around the curve until you reach the next pin, back stitch, and finish. Take the piece, fold, and pin back the flap. Also fold and pin back each of the ends of the seams inward. Now take your second quarter circle and pin on the other side. Place pins at a quarter inch from the edge, the same as you did previously. When sewing, Start and stop at the pins, making sure not to accidentally stitch over the other piece. Now we move all the pins. Ideally, these two stitches should almost meet up, but not quite, and not catch the opposite side. Match up the two quarter circles and pin around. We'll need to leave about an inch opening to turn this piece inside out. I use pins here to mark the opening. Sew around the piece. As before, leave a quarter inch at the beginning and the end. Backstitch at the opening to prevent the stitches from stretching when we stuff it later. Clip the points. Turn the piece inside out. Use a pin to help pull out the points. Fill the piece with stuffing of your choice. I used polyfill. Stuff until full. In hindsight, I probably overstuffed this piece slightly. Putting together the final puzzle would be a bit easier if each of these pieces had a little bit more give. Using a matching thread, stitch the whole close. Use a ladder stitch or whip stitch to sew shut. Repeat this process for all 12 pieces. Once the wedges are sewn, arrange them in three groups of four. These will be sewn into wings. To sew together, I used a double thread for extra security. 
I knotted the end and inserted the needle at the seam, pulling it through to hide the knot. I pulled the needle up at the point where all three pieces met together. I pinned the two wedges together to hold everything together while I was sewing. I inserted the needle on the second point and picked up about an eighth inch of fabric and we turned to the original side. I repeated this stitching about three times on each side of the center seam. Then I made a horizontal stitch on each side of the wedges, again picking up about an eighth of the fabric. I repeated this twice and then brought my needle down to the seam to knot and then finish off. Repeat this joining process for all four pieces to join into a wing, and then repeat this again to form your second and third wing. The pieces are now complete. Now to assemble. Place one wing inside the second to form a cross. Then take the third wing and wrap it around this cross, sliding the wedges in the gaps around the sides. This project is perfect to use up some of those scraps and it makes a cute and adorable puzzle ball.